according to the clock, I think we're just about midnight, sorry, 11 o'clock. Um, we're going to try to manage the time so that we will pause at midnight to exchange the New Year greetings. And I thank you for being here, and I trust that our worship will be an inspiration not only to us who are here face to face, but also to those who will join us virtually. Let us pray. Please stand. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you. And then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever, world without end. Amen. We continue with the call to worship, the prayer of intent, page 63 in the Book of Common Prayer. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship 
praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Through your spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. The hymn, O Come, All Ye Faithful. reading from the word of God 
written in Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 4. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent his spirit, sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then so then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. We will sing the carol at this time of holy night. Like me, you might be longing to sing it all season. Now is the time to really enjoy it. Oh, holy night.
worship continues in the mood of prayer, we will offer colleagues for Blessed Stephen, St. John, the Holy Innocents, then the colleague appointed for the first Sunday of Christmas. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord of glory, for the example of the first martyr, Stephen, who looked to heaven and prayed for his persecutors to your Son, Jesus Christ, who stands at your right hand, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. As we pray for the priests and people of St. Stephen in Barbados, we also focus on the priests and people of the Church of Parish Church of St. John. Shed upon your church, O Lord, the brightness of your light, that we, being illumined by the teaching of your apostle and evangelist John, may so walk in the light of your truth, that at length we may attain to the fullness of eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Catholic for Holy Innocence, we also remember all churches so named, but more especially we think of the Holy Innocents who would have been slaughtered and by, as the kings sought out to find our Lord Christ as a babe. But today we pray for babies and children everywhere because as we know, they represent new beginnings, a sign of a new start. We remember today, O oh God, the slaughter of the holy innocents of Bethlehem by King Herod. Receive, we pray, into the arms of your mercy, all innocent victims. And by your great might, frustrate the designs of evil tyrants and establish your rule of justice, love, and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you've poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We pray at this time for those who are anxious. those who suffer from bouts of anxiety, and we ourselves who may not be considered victims of this anxious nature, but are still nevertheless so challenged and concerned by time and things that occurred around us. And so we ask, that as you think of persons you may know in this state of mind, even ourselves, that we will pause and quietly call our names or their names before God. O gracious Creator, Holy God, we've come to the ending of the year 2022. So much has been a challenge for us and uncertainty has raged high in our minds, not knowing what to expect, nor how to cope with whatever may come. If the truth be told, 
we have been anxious about much. Tonight, we pray to you for a spirit of calm, an attitude of trust, a condition of serenity, and a mustard seed of faith and a confidence to trust our relationship with you so that whatever may come before us, we may be reminded that storms may rage around us, but will not have the control over us, because you still possess the command that will cause the winds to cease. You are still able to enforce the control over the gale forces of life. And your word and peace, be still, is still your controlling word. We pray that we will learn to rely on you and not on our own strength. All this we ask through Jesus, Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for healing. Gracious God, even as we sit or kneel together here in your presence, there's so many, so many sick, O oh Lord, who around us live. There's a fear that is associated with disease that can rob us of life as we have come to expect it. The sick ones are among our relatives, friends, colleagues, neighbors, and maybe even ourselves. And we are all in the need of prayer and of healing this night. So, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, who visited the sick in their many varying circumstances, visit with us and touch the sick and disease and heal them for your honor and glory. Spare them the agony that afflicts. Let the hope in their hearts bear fruit of restoration. And may we who pray do so in the quiet faith that you are covering everywhere that sickness may be found. At this time, we call or think of the names of those known to us. We know that illness and disease is not to be found only in the flesh, but in our spirits as well. So breathe on us your holy healing spirit. Breathe on all in need this night and throughout the coming year. Most of all, breathe healing into our holy church everywhere so that those who proclaim your word may also be instruments of healing in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. We conclude with the collect for the holy name of Jesus. We may join with me and say, Eternal Father, you gave to your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be the sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart, we pray, the love of him who is the Savior of the world, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. I want to take this opportunity in our worship to thank you who are here for being here, to welcome you 
and invite you to fully participate in our worship this evening. And as we do so, I also want to welcome those who join us virtually for this worship. And it is our hope and pray that as we continue into the new year, that that presence, that power, that love of God will increase in all our hearts and that we can and will make a difference to the world, the very changing world. So we welcome you to our worship this night. We shift now to the beautiful carol, also found in the CPWI hymnal, the angel Gabriel from Heaven King. from the word of God, written in the book of Numbers, 
chapter 6, beginning at verse 22. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This you shall bless the Israelites. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord made his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm appointed to Psalm 8. A reading from the Word of God, written in Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 5. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. 
Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. The grant of the people, number 91, while shepherds watch their flocks by night. chapter beginning at the 15th verse. Glory to Christ our Savior. At that time when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with this and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary 
treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise Christ. to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, I will share with you the message from the rector's desk for the St. Thomas Parish Church for New Year's. Greetings to my family in Christ. As we give thanks for the grace of God that has brought us through the year 2022, and as we spend the remaining minutes thankfully in his house of prayer. We have been brought to this point, even though there are some from among us who started this year but have since been called away. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. We, like a remnant, have all been through or may still be going through life's assaults on body, on our body, mind, and spirit. The one thing that we know is that the God who was a presence with us through the challenges before will be a presence again. Remember, if God is for you, who then can be against you? October 3rd, 2015, is the date still etched in my mind when God brought me to this parish of St. Thomas and has been part of my journey through to this 31st day of December 2022. And I am both thankful and grateful for the seven years that I have spent with you thus far. I have been learning to be a servant to God's people, while encountering the unknown, but with the proverbial grain of, of mustard seed, faith, this has been a part, let me read it again. I've been learning to be a servant to God's people while encountering the unknown, but with the proverbial grain of mustard seed as part of my armor against the darkness and evil that is bound to pursue me in my quest to serve the true and living God as revealed in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son. I'm here to tell you that that grain of mustard seed is enough and is growing into a faith tree, strong enough for me to rest in for a while as I discover that there is nothing too great that our Lord and our God cannot do for anyone willing to believe and trust in the one who is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and its end. 
Some will probably say that they are happy to see the back of 2022 and are looking forward to 2023 and see what it has in store for us all. Of course, we cannot predict what is to unfold in the coming year or years. Only thing we can predict is the certainty of God. He is our hope and our strength. God moves in a mysterious way his wonders to perform. The Church of Christ is commissioned to take responsibility for impacting on the ways of the world in every place. This means that we are to open our hearts to the way of Christ, and from that heart, we are to let Christian love continue. In a world where the emphasis is on materialism, sensationalism, egos, winning or losing, being popular, power wielding, and a false sense of pride, one can be blinded by the hype and dazzle of such a world instead of experiencing the light of Christ which chases away that darkness of the world, represented by promises, practices, pledges that are not lasting. The way of the world chooses to promote individualism, classism, racism in its efforts to divide us. To divide us and to rule. The way of Christ promotes harmony, family, dependability, and unity among all other embracing styles of living. This must be the new reality for a church who is ready to influence the world through attitudes that reflect the mind of Christ. The challenges facing our church at this time is the absence of willing hands, feet, eyes, mouths, hearts, and minds that are ready and willing to go into service being the messengers of Christ Jesus our Lord. There is a need for a greater church presence in the world. Note, a greater church presence and not an increase in church buildings. When the love of Christ is experienced from us, a change is bound to come for those who experience it. But not if we are absent from our duties and purposes. Meanwhile, the question is still being asked of us by the word of God, whom shall I send? I think it is safe to say that our parents and families before us did their best to answer that question and sent us, the church, to Sunday school, to be involved in the ministry of Christ. Maybe it is that some parents of our generation fail to impress upon their children the need God has of them to join us in going forward to serve the ways of God. In these times of technological development, we have opportunities using the gifts of church to promote and touch the world with the all-changing power of the gospel. After all, Jesus with his disciples took the message of the love of God throughout Galilee and the resurrection of Christ saw the disciples motivated by the Holy Spirit to give new life to the birth of the church of Christ throughout the world. Maybe, just maybe, we will stop looking for someone else to take the mantle that is intended to be our mantle and we will go forward into the streets, the communities, the neighborhood, and just be Christ-like to all we meet. 2023 can be the new beginning for a greater experience of God at work in the world. 
But the light that the world needs to lighten its darkness must shine through the lives of all of us. I take this opportunity as your pastor and brother in Christ to assure you of my continuous prayers for you and yours. Remember, it is not what you are doing, it is not what you are going through that is the difference. The difference is the God who is going through the rigorous times with you, reminding you and me in his holy word that he is still the way, the truth, and the life and that no one can come to the Father except through the Son. May we endeavor to maintain our Christian duties to each other, rebuilding our bonds and partnerships in the name of our Lord Christ. So, as Brother Bob Marley would say, one love, don't worry about a thing. Trust in the Lord and in, and in all your ways, acknowledge him. He will see us through every hurdle and lead us to safety to the Father and our eternal Father in heaven. May God's richest blessing be upon us all. And may we go forward with a confidence as to whose we are. And if we claim to be the children of God, as we should, then we know that God will find a way to lead us through the maze of misery and challenge and hardship. He's done it before, and he will continue to do it again. May God richly bless you as we go into 2023 and beyond. Amen. Probably my shortest sermon. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, you are the gift to us from God. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, you are the gift to us from God. Yeah. You are the light. You are God's light so that we can move away from darkness. We need your light, your holy light, so that we may find the way to you. I want to invite us at 11.57 to quietly focus on where we are in this journey of life, on what we need, not what we want, and on what our purpose is in the eyes of God. And in the moments leading to midnight, let us recommit ourselves again to serve God in all things and to be confident of his presence and power as we go forward to 2023.
Happy New Year. Happy 2023 to each and every one of you present, those of you who have joined us for this worship service on behalf of the members of the church family here at St. Thomas, our church council, and all of you who are viewing from at home who are members here, we do want to wish you every blessing as we go forward. Happy New Year to everyone. sing heart the herald angels sing Christ by the one spirit we were all baptized into one body and a 
of all be made to drink of the one spirit. Let us then pursue the things that make for peace and build up the common life. The hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. <laughs> Become channels of your love through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, Almighty, everlasting God, because you give Jesus Christ, your Son, your only Son, to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer B. Holy and gracious Father, all creation, rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all mankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took breath. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it for the remembrance of me. The third acclamation, Christ Jesus is Lord. He has set us free from the law of sin and death. In his name alone is our salvation. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory. We offer you with thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and grant that we, who eat and drink these holy gifts, may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. May he make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with Blessed Mary and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints with him and in him and through him. By the power of the Holy Spirit we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial 
and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Our souls in peace and satisfaction. And we will sing glad songs of praise to him. Alleluia.
with you. The post-communion prayer. Together we say, Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. May we bow our heads. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly, may he fill you with his joy and peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with you, bless and strengthen you as we go through this new year with the confidence of the presence of God in his Son, Jesus Christ, this night and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I invite you to sit for the notices, if you would. Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> <And> Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there I wait. <laughs> All right, we start with the birthdays as usual. Today, Raj Bayer, Ruth Griffith, Nicosi Herbert. Tomorrow, Monday, the second, Laura Lane Vaughn Pilgrim and Anderson Williams. On Wednesday the 4th, Jabari, Jabari Brown and Iverson Springer. And on Thursday, Nyla Boyce, Yuki Jemut. On Friday, Oana Clark Lamy, Wilma Gibson, and Kathy Ann Trotman. And on Saturday the 7th, Tricia Graves and Paulette Spooner. Rosamond James. May God bless their union and continue blessings on them as they celebrate and we wish them all the best in the coming years. Notice this now. January the 1st, Holy Eucharist, Holy Name of Jesus at 9 a.m. On Wednesday 6.30 p.m. virtual extraordinary meeting of the Church Council. And on January the 8th, first Sunday after Epiphany, Baptism of Our Lord, 7.30 a.m. service. On Wednesday, January the 11th, Spiritual Feeding at Noon, streaming live, YouTube, and Facebook. Sunday the 15th of January, 2023, Holy Eucharist, second Sunday after Epiphany, 7.30 a.m. On Wednesday, January the 18th, Spiritual Feeling at Noon, live streaming on YouTube and Facebook, that's at midday. On Saturday, January the 21st, St. Thomas Parish Church presents Fish Fry and Sizzle at the Church Car Park from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
This was rescheduled from November, and the tickets already purchased are still valid. On Sunday the 22nd, third Sunday after Epiphany, Holy Eucharist at 9 a.m., and on Wednesday the 25th of January, conversion of St. Paul the Apostle, spiritual feeding at noon, live stream, YouTube, and Facebook. And on Sunday, January the 29th, Holy Eucharist, 9 a.m., fourth, fourth Sunday after Epiphany, focus on youth and Sunday school. Around the diocese now, we have a Christmas recital. The Augmented Choir of the Church of St. Mary presents Christmas recital on Sunday, the 1st of January at St. Mary's Church at 6 p.m. The Barbados Police Service Band, Marilyn Smith, piano and Marilyn Smith on piano and Nathan Richards' voice are featured artists. And the admission to that is $25. That concludes the notices. Happy to see you all here. Happy New Year. God's blessing on all of you. Continue to look after each other. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. I would just want to again draw your attention to the rescheduled event on the 21st of January when we will put on our fish fry and meat sizzle, which was scheduled for the month of November, but due to circumstances totally beyond our control, we had to reschedule. So the time is at hand. And to remind you that tickets purchased already are valid. So please note that. Um, I also want to alert you that we are trying to get our stewardship envelopes um, available and circulated uh, during the month of January. We will be using some temporary envelopes until we um, put the correct or the, the proper stewardship envelopes into circulation. Uh, we will give you some more information on that, but I expect that by Sunday you would have your envelopes for the month of January. Again, it's really good to see some of you who I've not laid eyes in a while over on my on the right hand side, um, husband and wife. Oh, it's good to see you here. I think Jennifer is here with us as well. Good to see you. Those who are visiting with us, we welcome you. I don't know other persons here from overseas uh, coming in from the cold. Maybe not. But we do wish each and every one of you a very blessed 2023 and I believe that you are still able maybe to see a few fireworks somewhere um, in the sky I don't know if I haven't heard anything as yet but I know that tonight is also fireworks night so persons will be looking forward for that I hope that we have experienced uh, and enjoyed the experience of the Holy Spirit working in our midst as we lifted up those who are in certain health conditions and circumstances and uh, as we pray for the needs of others and I do hope that 2023 amidst all of the expected challenges will also be a year of blessing and growth for all of us in our relationship with Christ and each other. I continue to encourage you to keep in touch with one another and to keep that support going so that we can continue the ministry of the church, not only in the context of here in this space, but wherever we can reach and touch the lives of others. Let us make a new beginning as we go forward in Christ. The hymn that is very meaningful for many of us as we begin a new year, it's the hymn that we will bring our service to conclusion with. I think it's number 94. Father, let me dedicate all this year to thee. God bless you.
May we know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, and follow thee more nearly, day by day. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all this new year and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Christ, I thank you for being here. Hope we see more of each other as the year unfolds. Thank you.